now, today I'm here with a new video and today I am here with the Get Ready With Me and it might come to Get Ready With Me's pretty like close because I am planning on do a favorites for August as a Get Ready With Me but I wanted to film this and maybe I doesn't film them so or <laughs> maybe they don't come up that close I don't know but today I am here <laughs> Because I want to talk to you about one thing and it's a nothing nothing serious but maybe it is I don't know I am just going to prime my eyes and I am also going to use a new palette and I am doing pretty simple makeup so maybe just want to have this video on for company and you don't have to <laughs> watch what I am doing because me and my boyfriend, we are going out to eat and I've talked about this before, I have no tr problems to go out with like super crazy makeup but sometimes I just don't feel for it. So I'm going to use the Sweet Talk palette today from Colourpop. It looks like this if you didn't know and I am so shaky. Of course, not now. And I don't know why. So I'm going to use this today. And I think I want to use this glitter shade. I have not swatched anything in this palette because I usually don't. So we'll see. I maybe will write down in the description which colors I'm using, but I'm not going to tell you. And okay, what is it that I have on my mind? I, as many of you know, maybe if you have been with me for for last year. I did a low buy last year. It went fine. I had I could buy three items per month plus refills. And in my book I succeeded with my low buy. So that feels good. And this year I have been, like in the beginning of the year, it went really good. But then I have been, I've not been feeling that well this year. It goes up and down really much for me and has done that like the whole year. And usually when I don't feel that good, I tend to shop a lot. Shop, shop a lot shop a lot and I think I know it's not only me I think it's pretty common some people might eat more or train more or sleep more um, and I I don't know how to phrase this but I have never been like the things, the money that I have bought makeup has not made that I can't pay my bills or anything. I pay all my bills and save money each month and then I shop with my free money. Say it like that. So that's <laughs> nothing to worry about. I think I never would buy makeup for money that I don't have. I hope. But I've spent so much money on makeup this year and it's, yeah, when you see this, I guess it will be September and yeah, I, the reason why I had a low buy last year was because I felt overwhelmed with my makeup collection and I start to feel the same now. I talked a little bit with Debbie on Instagram today. And I was like, I have seven palettes at home that I haven't tried, including this, and one on the way. But now I realize I have two on the way, actually, and it stresses me out to have so many palettes that I am not used. I know that it sounds maybe not a lot for some of you, but for me, it like stresses me. And it makes me feel a little bit bad about 
my makeup and I also I just feel overwhelmed <laughs> sometimes when I look at my especially my eyeshadow palettes I just feel I don't want to do this anymore I don't want to look at them I don't want to have them I just want to hide them I don't want to see them and it makes me sad because I know that I love to sit down and do my makeup and this mirror is so far away. How is this even looking? I think it looks quite good actually. And that makes me sad because makeup has been for the last two years and a little bit more like my outlet. And my space to be creative so that makes me a bit sad that I feel that way so I am actually thinking of doing almost a no buy next year and I <laughs> I'm never going to make it I know that um, but it feels like something I need to do and also a little bit because I haven't been duping things now. I have never done that before. And it has been so fun. And I am like, maybe I can live without any new palettes. But I also have some thoughts that like, kind of a no buy. And maybe allow myself to buy six items for one year. I don't know, this was just a thought I got like a week ago and I have been thinking about it and it will also save me a lot of money if I didn't buy that much makeup and skincare because I have talked about this before, me and my boyfriend we want to buy a house and even though that we can afford a house right now it's good to have as much money as you can and like when you buy a house it's also good to have as much money as you can so I would save I don't even like want to know how much I could save per month if I didn't buy makeup and skincare and uh, that also makes me I don't know if I could call it sad, but it makes me a little bit, I don't know. Okay, now I need to swatch two shades because I don't know which one I'm going to take. I, yeah, it's good to have as much money as you can. And I am 31, I'm turning 32. 32 next year and uh, I want to buy a house I want to own my own house I want to live in a house I grew up in a house and I just want the freedom that it is to live in a house and I just want to save as much money as I can and also I want to still have my joy for makeup and it felt better last year when I did my low buy because that was one of the big things for me why I did a low buy because it did feel overwhelmed with my makeup collection and it makes me a little bit scared that I feel the same thing again actually I don't know if anybody of you that watches me that have a makeup channel it feels the same thing it feels like last year was like the year of the low buy. I know we were a lot of people that did low buys and I know that some do it this year as well. But I think I really want to try a no buy. But I don't know if I am too hard on myself. But it feels like I would play more with the things I have and also like hopefully feel happy about my makeup again and I don't know what's up with this eye and I can understand why maybe some of you 
don't want to stay for a no buy. I totally get that. And I'm not going to be mad of. Okay. Okay. This eye is my trouble eye <laughs> because it's. I have like a dry spot on my eye and sometimes it's just fucking with me as right now but like my channel has never been about getting as many subscribers that I can of course I love to see it grow in one way but it also makes me a little bit scared but I do this because I love makeup and if it going to continue as it's doing now, I will not love makeup anymore. Feels like that. It's nothing, like, I still want to do YouTube. I have nothing, like, it's not that. Am I in focus? Do I see it so bad? Maybe I need to get glasses. Um, it has nothing to do with that, but it's just when I look at my collection, I don't feel any joy. And that is not a good thing. So maybe 2021 is going to be the year of the no buy for me. I don't know. I do not promise anything. Promise. I, I really don't know. Okay. Now I don't know. I have... I want to take one of these three shimmers. But I actually don't know which one. Maybe this one or this one or this this looks pretty cool. But I want it. Yeah, I think I will take that one. But I don't know if I will make it. <sighs> of course, if I decide to do a no buy next year, I will do a video about it maybe in December. Okay, another thing I want to talk about. I follow... Okay, this is going to be really... I don't know if I want to talk about this, but I'm going to do it. I... Sometimes I have been thinking if I want to be a makeup artist. And... Because in Sweden, if you like going to work in a makeup store, you need to have an education and... I would love to like either work at maybe not Sephora <laughs> but Kicks that we have that is kind of like a Swedish Sephora and now the washing machine the laundry is ready um, but then you have to be a makeup artist or have an education and I really want to do that I think because imagine that I can talk to people every day about makeup and skincare that would be amazing but the problem is in Sweden <laughs> that if you're going to be a makeup artist you have to go you have to pay for the education in Sweden we have free education I think we are one of the few countries in the world it doesn't cost anything to go to the university in Sweden. If you're not going to be like a pilot or a makeup artist or a nail technologist. Nail tech. <laughs> but most of the education in Sweden are free. Makeup artist is not one of them. <laughs> and I... I can't like take 12 weeks off or 16 weeks off from work to study or of course I can but I don't want to so I have been like okay if I could read it this is called distance like if I could read at home to be a makeup artist I would love that and then one person that I follow here on YouTube Josefine Smink She's a Swedish YouTube channel. She launched her makeup academy. 
Is that a correct translation? I don't know. But she offers <laughs> makeup education on distance. So you can do it at home in your own pace and everything. And <laughs> then the thing that I wanted. Okay, it still cost money. But it's not like at all as high as if I would go to a school. And uh, then I was like, okay, I, I, now I can actually do it. But then my negative mind was like, okay, I am never going to succeed. I would never finish the education because I am not going to complete the different things you have to do because I'm not that good. I pushed myself down as I always do. Okay, I really like this. I really do. Okay, I just have to go and take away the fallouts and then I'm going to do my base and continue to talk whatever I'm talking about. Okay, now I'm back. <laughs> and one more thing why I don't like I'm doubting myself for taking like a makeup course is that I am this kind of person is I'm if I'm not the best at anything at once or if I don't know how to do something and I'm not good at it I do not want to learn <laughs> because I'm only frustrated that I can't do it so it's hard for me to do new things because if I'm not good at it from the start, I do not want to do it. And uh, that is just who I am. And I am uh, like that with everything. And now Astrid is here. And if anybody of you are interested in Astrid, um, <sighs> here she is. Um, I did and get read with me when I talked a little bit about her. She had a heart murmur, I think it's called, when she was little. And they was like, we don't think it's anything bad. So they... Yeah, they did some checkups with her and today we did an ultrasound with her and she has a little hole in her heart but the vet said it was a heart specialist spe special vet there and she said it's very very common and usually it doesn't like affect the life of the kitten or the cat it's pretty common and uh, yeah but then she also had another problem and I can't explain that in English and they weren't like that worried we are going to go back in uh, uh, in March to do another checkup on her so they weren't too like worried but it's not the best with the heart hopefully we if something happens we can like <laughs> take her to the vet before it gets really bad so that feels a little bit scary because we had a cat before that we had to put down in the end of January. She died because of a heart failure and that was, I took it really hard because I love my cats. I love animals overall and um, that was really hard for me. So. When this came up, it was like, it felt kind of hard, but we 
now know it. We didn't know that our other cat had something wrong with her heart. Um, and now we know and I think it makes it a little bit easier actually. I think. Yes it does. So that was all that I wanted to say about, about Astrid. Which is because she came here. Okay, the foundation I'm using is the Stay Naked from Urban Decay. I love this. And I'm using one of the sponges from Kaleidos and I think I actually like it. It doesn't feel like a lot of people like it, but I really do. And us did as well when they did, when they checked her heart, <laughs> they did an ultrasound. And they have shaved her <laughs> on two spots on her belly and it looks a little bit funny. And they also took a blood test in one of her legs, the front leg. And it looks a little bit funny because she's pretty hairy, so yeah. Okay, now I'm going to use another new thing. And now you might see the problem with my makeup shopping. This is a concealer. I saw this one person that follow Instagram used this and I was like I need that in my life this is the fresh nude serum concealer from the body shop in light this is the lightest color and it feels like it's going to be a little bit dark but I don't know yeah but I don't want like a super light concealer and also I think my powder that I use under my eyes can make it a little bit lighter. Nee, Astrid. And now she's here. But the only thing with Astrid now today, we were at the vet uh, this morning and she has been so tired, but at the same time, I guess it has been stressful for her. She doesn't seem to be like afraid of anything. I think a lot because she can't hear a thing. But I get like two. First, we drove in the car and she puked. Wonderful. And then to be at the vet and they did an ultrasound on her. I guess it wasn't like the best experience for a little cat. So I guess that's why she has been. Kind of low and slow today, but like my my little cat, Mama Heart, is crying. Okay, I think I really like this concealer. Does it look odd to you? Okay, it does. It didn't cover like I have such dark circles for being me. It's because um, I have vacation and you can like guess that I would sleep a lot. I do not. And do I need to hurry? Yes, I need to hurry because we are soon going out to eat. Okay, but I think I like this concealer even though it didn't cover everything. I don't like thick foundations or concealers so I think I actually like this one and I can't like even feel it under my eyes so I guess that's good so now I think it's time for the eyebrows and I am going to I don't know if I can talk at the same time I need to go here and I have a new eyebrow product as well I am so tired of myself it's a brow marker from Isadora, it's a Swedish brand, and it has one of these. One of these tips. I'm really intrigued. <laughs> because I am not satisfied with how my eyebrows look. And haven't been for a while. <laughs> But I had just been too tired to like even care. And now I was like, okay. If I don't try to make them better, they are not going to look any better. So I'm thinking about using that one just in the front of my brows. 
and I think it's so hard with like choosing an eyebrow color for myself. Right now I have this brow powder duo from Anastasia Bell Hills in top. I think I like it, but I don't know if it's the right color for me. I don't know. I guess I should go with like a warmer tone to my brows, but I don't want that. But like my hair is kind of warm, I guess. And that is also one thing that I don't like about myself at all. My hair. I straight up hate it. <laughs> I want to color it again, but I don't know in what color and... <sighs> what did I do here? Maybe I can't work and do my eyebrows at the same time. No, I cannot. I don't know in what color and I am not that like good to maintain a hair color because I don't feel like I have the time for it but I do. I do have the time for it. What did happen here? They are not supposed to be twins but maybe cousins? Third cousins? And my hairstyle? Any hairstyle, I just do nothing with my hair. Before I had a side cut, so I had this side shaved. Did I? Yeah, it must have been this. Yeah, it was the side shaved, and I really, really like to have a side cut because I've I just liked that hairstyle, but I had it for six years, I think. And I wanted something else, and yeah. Something else was apparently this that is nothing. <laughs> and before I had my side cut, I had bangs, and I have had bangs for like the whole, my whole life. And one part of me really wants to cut bangs again, but it's a pain in the ass to grow it out, and I have done it once. And my boyfriend, he was like, yeah, do it if you want to, but you're going to regret it. And then you're going to be angry because you have to save it out. And I was like, damn it. He knows me too well. I can put in a picture here how I look in bangs. And remember that I am maybe 20 on this picture or something. I don't know. I had bangs for a long time. Okay, I don't know if these eyebrows are better than the usual are, maybe. And now I'm going to do my under eyes. And I'm, I always say this when I do a good red with me, but I'm so sorry about this. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know what I do. I don't know anything. But at the same time, I want to share my thoughts on my low buy and I have done it. So maybe I don't have anything more to say than that. But yeah, I don't know. And do any of you doing a low buy or a no buy next year? I can guess that some might have done it this year because of the whole pandemic and stuff like that. Sometimes it feels a little bit like, I don't know. I haven't done like contour and stuff. Okay, I do that later. Um, I haven't been affected that much because I, my work, we have had so much to do. I work as a consignee, I think it's called, at a warehouse where we ship out food to stores, grocery stores, and if people have done something in this pandemic, it is buying food. So I have been, I have had like more work than ever. And okay, I can say one other thing that I never thought was going to come out of my mouth. I, okay, 
Okay, maybe I should take it in a corner. Okay, the thing that I never thought that I was going to say, I miss sometimes doing looks like this. I love colorful eyeshadow. If I could choose to do like one style of eyeshadows the rest of my life, I would choose colorful. But sometimes I just miss to do these more neutral. I really like to do these kinds of makeups sometime. Because I... I just think it really suits me and I... You know sometimes when you like dress up, you do your makeup and you're feeling just fierce. That is how I feel usually when I have these kinds of makeup on. Because sometimes, if you're doing colorful looks as well, sometimes it doesn't go as planned. <laughs> maybe it doesn't blend together that good, or maybe you... Yeah, I don't know. But sometimes colorful makeup doesn't look that good. Or feel like that... Good when you have it on. I hope that you really understand what I mean. But like this kind of makeup, it's hard to fail with it. And sometimes I just miss that. And now I don't even know what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to do my, the rest of my base. But like who wants to see this on my channel where I do mostly super colorful things? I don't know. And I think if I ever would do or have a work <laughs> that I don't start at 6 in the morning, I think I would do this kind of makeup looks for work. Because I like it. And okay, one thing that I, I have never noticed this before, I don't know if I ever, if I always have had this, I have a blood vessel called the blood vessel I don't know if you can see it but I have a blue one here and it disturbs <laughs> my blush application just you I don't like it at all and I haven't like even noticed this before so I don't know if it's a new one can they just show up like that Okay, I think I really like this base. Yes, I do. At least in the studio lights, maybe in the camera it doesn't look that much, but if you don't know that, that this, if you're not filming, if it looks not that much on camera, it usually looks good in real life, and if it looks really out there on the camera, it usually is kind of much in real life. I have noticed the hard way. Okay, I really like this palette, Sweet Talk palette. I have used this shade side to side. I used it in my crease, now in my inner corner, sprayed it. And then I used Work It. I see, I see my. What I see, why am I? I see why I'm, I'm Swedish, okay? A melody and did I use no, I didn't use this one, I used this one, West Side. So I used side to side, work it, med, no. Okay, I have no idea. I know side to side and work it, maybe melody and feel free. And west side. I don't know, but I really like this look. Now I'm going in with something in my wash line. I actually bought this set from Colourpop. It was finally back in stock. And I have taken out two of these peach fuss. It's not that one. I think I might want to use this. 
I'm going to use this. This is Peach Fuss. I don't know if this is sold individual. I never know with Colourpop. And I really hope, because like always, when I do my makeup on camera, <laughs> for like filming or, yeah, I do never like poke myself with a mascara wand, but every time I go in to do my makeup off cam, I do it. I don't know why. But one thing I at least never get is mascara on my nose, because on my left eye, I put on mascara with my left hand. Do you see? I poked my eye. What the fuck? <sighs> Make me so sad. I'm going to take it away. It just have to dry up. And then I can take it away. So I am going to try to choose a lip bit and because we are going out to eat Sometimes I just Take a red because I love red I really don't like to have like a strong lip when I'm out eating because it's going to fade Maybe I could take one from Kaleidos. I don't know which one though. So okay, this is the final get red with me look The final get red with me look the final look. I will take this away um, before I go out, but I really miss to do these kinds of looks sometimes Because I really think this looks good. I'm really happy with this and it's easy to do You don't have to think like can I mix this and this I usually don't do it either way, but I don't have to be afraid to mix two different colors So okay, uh, I am going to end this here um, if you have been with me all this time you should get a medal for it because this was I don't know what this was but yeah I hope you like this get red with me and I might do a no buy kind of no, no buy next year I will let you know I have not decided yet maybe I do a low buy I don't know but right now I am so overwhelmed with my own collection and I hate to feel that way because this is my happy place. My happy... Th this should make me happy. Not make me feel bad over all the things I have. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!